for two of South Africa's leading mountain bike racers, Paul and Yolan, success starts in the kitchen. Today they share a few easy recipes. Now eating correctly is important for everyone, even the average Joe. And I know you guys are professional athletes and a good meal plays a vital role in your life. Would you say this is one of your keys to success? Yes, definitely. I mean, you take a lot out of your body, especially with the training that we do. So you need to replace those calories, but at the same time, keeping a healthy diet so that you keep lean muscle mass. So also in training, you build up a lot of lactic acid, so you create a very acidic system. So it's important to eat a lot of alkaline foods. So try eat a lot of fresh fruits and veggies. Definitely helps a lot on the bike and makes a big difference to performance at the end of the day. You learn how important is proper nutrition leading up to an event and what role would you say supplementation plays? Nutrition is obviously very important leading up to an event. So we always make sure that we hydrate properly the day before and then eat a balanced meal. We don't really believe in carb loading as such, but we'll eat a balanced mixture of carbs and protein and also bringing in fresh fruits and vegetables just to keep uh, acidity levels low as well. Definitely supplementation plays a huge role just to replenish your carbs and, and as I say to keep hydrated through the day. Yulan, talk us through an average food day in your house. We always wake up with a good cup of coffee and then have some oats adding a bit of Yersen's protein dessert and that helps sustain our energy level levels and helps us to get through the day. Then for lunch I'm about to prepare a nice healthy rice sandwich. We usually add a bit of healthy lean meat like um, smoked chicken and some healthy salad on onto that. Then going on to dinner I, I actually enjoy cooking so I often experiment on pull with some new recipes but always try to keep it healthy, fresh, fresh vegetables, always a lean cut of meat. We often have red meat. Um, Paul and I both battle a bit with keeping our iron levels high, so that helps us, especially with all the training, just to keep our iron levels, which is really important to be able to train and race efficiently. And, um, and then a healthy start. And then always finish, end of our meal with a yummy Yersen protein dessert. Which Paul is busy making now. Paul, how important would you say it is for endurance athletes to have enough protein? Yeah, it's very important. I think it's very uh, often overlooked from endurance point of view. A lot of people focus on carbohydrates, and uh, but often neglect like how, how important protein comes in. So it's always good to try and to try and supplement your diet with uh, with protein. I mean, as you're out there training for a long time, your muscles are breaking down. Protein obviously adds the recovery of that. Um, enabling you to you know recover faster and so you can train better the next day also to help build muscles so all the muscles that you're out there training and and hurting if you actually want to increase your fitness and strength you need to add protein to help get that right. Paul what products do you add to your diet to ensure that you keep those levels high? Lisa one of the products that we that we try and add is uh, USN's protein dessert which I'm making now it's really easy to make you can just make it with water or milk and uh, pop it into the fridge for a few minutes and uh, as soon as it's ready, it'll, it'll thicken. It's great to have just before you go to bed, so you're getting a whole bunch of protein into your system, so it's actually helping work throughout the night, um, repair all those damaged muscles, so that you feel a lot better in the morning. Paul, that's great for in the evening, but what about during the day to keep those protein levels high? Something that we use quite often is uh, what they call the protein fuel, or RTD, ready to drink. Um, and what this is, it's actually a great supplement to add to your sandwich that you're having just to get an extra protein, especially when you're pushed for time. You just want to finish your workout, grab it out of the fridge, drink it on the way in the car. Now, you land mentioned that you two follow mostly a healthy diet. Is it important for cyclists to manage their weight? Yeah, it definitely is. Obviously, when it comes to cycling, power to weight does have a part to play. So it is all about getting balance and knowing what, what your body needs and everyone's a little bit different so you need to fuel your body for, for what's important for you. Now you land any products that you use in your diet to assist with weight control? I try to maintain a healthy diet but I always find it very difficult to lose the last few kilograms so that's why I like to use USN's Fedricut Slim Packs. Firstly they're really convenient to use, you just cut one open, just grab a bottle of water, mix it and drink it, it tastes great gives you a bit of an energy boost and it helps your body to start metabolizing fat. Now what product do you use to get your tone physique? I use the Water Slim and it helps you to slim down and keep a nice firm tone. Now Paul, what advice do you have for people out there that want to align their eating plans with their physical goals? Well I think people just need to be realistic about what they're trying to achieve. Take what you've learned into races, don't change something on the day, stick to what you know and do what works for you. Well guys, it was really wonderful spending the afternoon in your kitchen. I'm going to leave you to enjoy lunch. Thanks for the time. 
Thank Thanks you. very much. Find more tips and inspiration on usn.coza. There's a whole world of adventure sport right on your doorstep. Get out there and enjoy South Africa's great outdoors.